as a public representative, I have often said that the only thing that's more unpopular than the housing shortage is the construction of housing. And uh, I can understand the motivation of trying to ensure a speedier delivery. But can I say, in both in the open statement and the contribution today, I don't believe there's an acceptance that the uh, introduction of the SHDs has actually significantly undermined the construction uh, uh, of housing. Often it involves leadership by public representatives, by community groups um, uh, to support development. And the SHD process has effectively pulled the rug under many of those people uh, when, when developments come before us. And I'll do that in three areas. Um, one is in, in relation in, con in conjunction with the decision to remove the height cap from the city, the content of many of those developments are reliance on things like apart hotels and uh, and cuckoo funds buying uh, buying entire complexes. And the last thing is the clustering of several uh, SHTs together has all led to um, a belief that there is no overall picture being considered in a way that previously LAPs or lo the local authorities might have might have done that. So c can I just reference two, and then I'll ask ask a question. Like clearly, the decision on the Glen Hill um, uh, development on the on, on the Fingus Road, which is a matter that has been dealt with in the courts. Um, and it's a matter of public record, uh, it saw that there was a significant deviation from the Dublin City Development Plan in regards to height, but no reason given for it. And, and I think that is something that we need to consider because people will not support the development when they don't know what the height is, go is, is, going, is going to be. Um, in, the clustering is a massive issue. Uh, in, in Santry, we've had several SHDs that have been brought together, um, and they all have, uh, have a cumulative impact, and yet it doesn't appear that any of that cumulative impact is being considered. In fact, they seem to be considered as standalone, separate S SHDs. That's something that would never have happened at the local authority uh, level and does need to be considered. Um, but the last thing I'd say, and I just have 30 seconds left, and uh, um, I'm really concerned that some of the conversation here is talking about consultation about elements being considered. The programme of government is very clear. There should be no extension of the SHD process. And I would be very worried to see any element of it um, brought back uh, that repeated many of those mistakes.